Hi, I'm Steve Clemenson, and in this short video, we'll be looking at SIG Design and Technologies Signature PU20, a simple and easy to apply liquid roofing solution for both new build and refurbishment projects. By the end of this video, you should be able to explain to our contractors what the system consists of, where it should be applied, and how it should be applied. So, before we look at the product itself, let's look at where it can be used. There are many solutions for new or refurbishment roofing projects. The decision can be taken on cost or aesthetics, or speed of application, or ease of application. A PU20 ticks many of these boxes. It's a very cost-effective solution that is easy to apply, and ideal for both overlay or refurbishment projects with multiple awkward penetrations or new build in either warm, cold or even inverted build-ups, including balcony applications. Signature PU20 can be laid on existing roof finishes or newly laid approved insulation boards with the same ease and flexibility to deal with complex detailing as well as large open areas. In refurbishment projects, it's an ideal solution to overcoat a roof which has come to the end of its serviceable life. So now we know where and why to apply the system, what exactly is Signature PU20? As the name suggests, it's a PU, a polyurethane. Polyurethane technology is a tried and tested solution for roofing applications and has excellent durability. The main benefits of our system are fast curing times, single coat application for new works, seamless finish, excellent elasticity and tensile strength, easy to apply, and a warranty of up to 20 years. The basic components of the system comprise Signature PU Joint Sealer for filling gaps, cracks or splits, essential for ensuring the system can perform at its best. Same day or next day primers, both applied at a rate of 0.2 litres per square metre. There is also a range of different substrate specific primers, e.g. for PVC or TPOs. Primers ensure that an excellent key is achieved to the substrate. Reinforcing tape, a self-adhesive butyl tape for use at board joints, corners or changes of direction. Signature PU liquid fibre, a reinforced fixotropic or non-drip product used for awkward details or upstands. And the Signature PU20 kit, the liquid 15 kilograms, an accelerator 600 grams are sold as a kit, one tin of liquid to one tin of accelerator. So no calculating or measuring of components which can often go wrong and lead to extended set times or go off too fast and make installing difficult. Signature PU20 is applied by brush or roller at a minimum rate of 1.5 to 1.8 kilograms per square metre depending on the substrate. So a 15 kilogram tin should cover approximately 10 square metres. There is also a range of accessories, such as terrace coat and reinforcing fabric. The fabric will be required to be incorporated into the system if, say, the application was over an existing bitumen felt or asphalt roof. The terrace coat could be used as an additional hardwearing surface for balcony or walkway applications. So how do we apply Signature PU20? The basic toolkit consists of standard PPE, overall, masks, glasses, and brushes, rollers, mixing paddle and drill. We will see each of these items being applied to on a demonstration rig in a short while. But before we start any application, the areas to be coated must be prepared and primed. There is no point applying any product to an existing roof covering without first preparing it. It won't key in, it won't look right, and it won't last as long as it should. Any existing surface to receive Signature PU20 must be clean, dry and free from dust, rust and debris. With new works, only suitable and approved insulation boards should be used. We're going to demonstrate the application of PU20 on the same rigs that installers would work on during one of our training sessions. Firstly, we sweep and clean the surface prior to commencing. Then applying the PU joint sealant to any small holes or splits and to the changes of direction at upstands and internal corners 
to create a filleted interface rather than a 90 degree angle. Undertaking a bond check prior to progressing with large scale application is also recommended, especially if there are existing unknown coatings that have been used previously on the roof. Once this preparation is completed and the joint sealer has dried, the primer must be applied. There are options of same day or next day primers depending on the size or complexity of the project or weather conditions. Each primer is applied at a consumption rate of a minimum of 200 grams per square meter. This figure may increase slightly depending on the surfaces to be treated. The same day primer will cure in two to four hours, whilst the next day primer requires a minimum of 24 hours. Both are dependent on local ambient temperature. So, on a warm, dry day, these may reduce and vice versa. Same day primer must be touched dry before applying the roof coating system. And the next day primer must not have subsequent layers applied prior to the 24 hour period. Whilst generally on new work or non-bituminous surfaces, Signature PU20 doesn't need a fabric reinforcement, it does when overcoating, say, an old felt or asphalt roof. Due to the potential for steps and staggers at overlaps or the greater risk of subsequent movement of the substrate. However, even on new works at board joints and external corners, signature PU reinforcing tape must be installed prior to the application of the liquid, but after the application of the primer. These areas are potentially subject to differential movement and as such the self-adhesive tape is required. OK, so we have now prepared and primed the areas to be coated. We now need to undertake the application of the system to the upstands and any penetrations. Upstands can be easily undertaken using the signature PU liquid fibre, applying to the required height and onto the field area by at least 50 millimetres. Once the upstand is touched dry in approximately two to four hours, we can then commence with the application of the field area. Firstly, we need to mix the liquid with the accelerator. As I mentioned earlier, there is no measuring required. One tin of liquid to one tin of accelerator. The process should ensure the two components are thoroughly mixed and should take no more than two to three minutes or until an even color consistency is achieved. Too much mixing or mixing too fast may trap in air bubbles. A speed of 400 to 500 RPM is recommended with the standard paddle. Then it's a simple matter of rolling on at the correct coverage rate of 1.5 to 1.8 kilograms per square meter. The best way to ensure correct coverage rate is to grid out the roof and place the tins evenly spaced to the required consumption. As each area is laid, to ensure that we don't end up with blisters or bubbles, perhaps due to overzealous mixing, we roll over the area with a spiked roller. And that's it. Finished. So we've looked at what the system consists of. We've looked at where the system can be applied, and we've looked at how to apply the system. But there is always the odd question or very site-specific query that will need answered. At Design & Technology, we have a team of experts based at Shepshed and out on site, as well as the supplier's UK-based technical team available to help get the answers to any questions you or our contractors may have. Our website is full of information about the product, data sheets, brochures, application guides and drawings are available, as are the contact details for the office-based and area maps and contact numbers for the field-based technical teams. 
So have a look.